RNA. RNA is a single stranded molecule. As we studied, DNA is a double helical structure. RNA is single stranded molecule. DNA contains four nitrogenous bases. RNA also contains four nitrogenous bases. But here, in place of thymine nitrogenous base, Uracil nitrogenous base is present. In short, we can say that in RNA, thymine is replaced by uracil. The children, there are three types of RNA. Number one is rRNA, nothing but the ribosomal RNA. Second one is mRNA, nothing but the messenger RNA. And third one is tRNA, that is transfer RNA. Number one, ribosomal RNA or rRNA. The molecule of RNA which is a component of ribosome RNA is said to be the ribosomal RNA. Ribosome performs the function of protein synthesis. Let's see the messenger RNA or mRNA. RNA molecule that carries the information of protein synthesis from genes that is DNA chain in the cell nucleus to ribosome in the cytoplasm which produce the protein is called the messenger RNA. Third one is transfer RNA or tRNA. RNA molecule which According to the message of the mRNA carries the amino acid up to the ribosome is said to be the transfer RNA. This is all about the different types of RNA. Hello dear children, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to learn about the Mendel's principles of heredity. Mendel said that the genetic material is transferred from parents to offsprings in equal quantity. He proceeded for the research on this statement. Meda selected the pea plant, nothing but the pisum sativa. Meda's experiment were based upon the visible characteristics of the pea plant. The characteristics are the shape of the seed, color of the seed, color of the flower, shape of the pod, color of the pod, position of flower and height of plant. These all are seven visible characteristics considered by a Mendel in his experiment. Mendel performed the monohybrid cross and dihybrid cross. On the basis of these two crosses, Mendel concluded that the genetic material transferred from parents to offsprings in equal quantity. So let's begin with the first experiment that is the monohybrid cross. What do you mean by monohybrid cross? The children, monohybrid cross is a cross between two pea plants with only one pair of contrasting characters. Is said to be the monohybrid cross. So as we study the monohybrid ratio, let us consider the characteristics plant height with a pair of contrasting characteristics tall plant and dwarf plant tall pea plant and dwarf pea plant were used in monohybrid cross this is said to be the parent generation or p1 Mendel referred to the tall and dwarf plants as the dominant and recessive characters. The tall plant was referred to as a dominant, 
because all the plants in the next generation were tall that's why many consider the tall is a dominant character the tall plant was referred to as recessive because this characteristic did not appear in the next generation this experiment has been presented by the pinet square method as shown in the figure in mendel's mono hybrid cross tall pea plant is represented by a g capital t capital t and dwarf pea plant is represented by a small g a small t this is the genotype of a pea plant phenotype the appeared character the visible character genotype the genes which are responsible for specific characters present in the dna that we cannot see without the dna fingerprint so from capital t capital t after the gametogenesis there will be the capital t is the gamete and from dwarf pea plant small t is a gamete there will be the crossover between capital t and small t so there will be the formation of capital t and small t both the genes one is dominant and one is recessive both the genes are present in the offspring so what will be the height of the plant the plant will be tall or dwarf to the children the dominant characters are always expressed and recessive characters are suppressed on the basis of this principle we can say that all the plants in a one generation will be tall okay so capital t small t is the genotype of a one generation pea plants and all the plants are tall that's why it is said to be the phenotype crossing over between f1 generation so all the plants were tall mendel was not expecting like that because mendel chose the one tall plant and one dwarf plant okay yes so mendel expect that some plants will be tall some plants will be dwarf in f1 generation but actually it was not the result what the mendel got mendel was the priest in a church one day he was sitting outside the church and observed the pea plant and he started to think that why some pea plants are tall and some pea plants are dwarf all right then he started to proceed for the experiment if you are observing the diagram we can conclude that if the crossing over between f1 generation all tall pea plant capital t small t then we are able to conclude that on the basis of this the three tall plants and one dwarf plant will be there in f2 generation capital t capital t stands for tall plant capital t small t tall plant capital t small t tall plant small t small t dark plant so the children on the basis of the visible characters we can say that three tall and one dark plant so phenotypic ratio will be 3 as to 1 but on the basis of the genes genotype so capital t capital t p one tall one plant will be there capital t is small t one dominant and one recessive character is present that's why it's said to be the hybrid tall plant so hybrid tall plants are two that's why one as to two okay and again small t small t one plant is there so p one dwarf so one as to two as to one will be the genotypic ratio of f2 generation in mono hybrid cross this is all about the mono hybrid cross 
method named after its inventor, British geneticist Reginald Punnett. It is a widely used way of easily visualizing the variety of gamete combinations in breeding experiments. The Punnett square is a two-dimensional table that resembles a window pane. On this table, the gametes from one parent will be listed along the top edge, while gametes from the other parent will be listed vertically along the left-hand edge. These various combinations will give us an idea of the probable outcome of the cross. Let's create a Punnett square to see the possible outcomes of a monohybrid cross. Let's consider the color of a flower, which is controlled by a single gene. Each gene has two alternative forms, which are called alleles. Red is the dominant color, and white is recessive. A symbol will be designated for each allele in the gene pair. The dominant allele is represented by a capital letter R for the color red. The recessive allele is denoted by the corresponding lowercase letter in this case, lowercase r for the color white. Because both parents produce the same genotype, capital R, lowercase r, it can produce only two types of gametes, either capital R or lowercase r. Now we'll write the gametes both horizontally and vertically so that we can determine the possible phenotype or external characteristics. For a homozygous dominant flower, the genotype would be capital R, capital R, a combination that will produce a red flower. If it is a heterozygous flower, the genotype would be capital R, lowercase r, and the flower it produces would also be red. However, if it is a homozygous recessive flower, the genotype would be lowercase r, lowercase r, and the resulting flower would be white. This phenotype will give us a ratio of 3 is to 1, meaning there are 3 types of offspring which produce red flowers for every one offspring that produces white flowers. A Punnett square also illustrates genotype combinations. In this monohybrid cross, the homozygous dominant combination will be 1 out of 4 meaning it will be 25% of the genotypes. The homozygous recessive will also be 1 out of 4, meaning 25%. The remaining heterozygous genotypes will be 2 out of 4, meaning 50%. The genotype ratio of a monohybrid cross is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Summary the Punnett square is a graphical method used for visualizing the gamete combinations in breeding experiments. The phenotype ratio of a monohybrid cross is 3 is to 1. The genotype ratio of a monohybrid cross is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Let us study the dihybrid cross. Dihybrid cross is a cross between two pea plants by considering two contrasting characters. So here we are going to consider the shape and color of the seed. Shape that is round shape and wrinkle shape. Color, yellow color and green color. So round and yellow is a dominant character and wrinkled and green is a recessive character. So the children, metal selected the pea plants producing rounded yellow seeds and wrinkled green seeds as the parent plants as shown in the chart. Metal selected the rounded yellow seeds, their genotype will be capital R capital Y, capital Y, both are the dominant characters. Capital letters are used to represent the dominant characters. Okay, then a wrinkled green seed, a small r, a small r, a small y, a small y. A small letters are always used to represent the recessive characters. After the, uh, after the process of gametogenesis, capital R, capital why we will get from the rounded yellow seed and from the wrinkled yellow seeds there will be the small r 
is small y. Crossing over between these two gametes, we will get the genotype capital R is small r, capital Y is small y. So, what is the color and shape of the seed in F1 generation? If we are getting the capital R is small r, capital Y is small y. So, my dear children, it is very clear that the capital R represents the dominant character, which means that the shape of the seed will be round. And capital Y is present, that's why the color will be yellow. Means we are getting rounded yellow seed in the F1 generation. Let us proceed for the F2 generation by selecting the seeds from F1 generation. So crossing over between the F1 generation. Let us select the rounded yellow seeds from the first field generation and after the gametogenesis he proceed for the square punnet square or chicken board method he got the ratio and the phenotype of the dye hybrid cross 9 as 2 3 as 2 3 as 2 1 it is the phenotypic ratio genotypic ratio is again different but the children when they found that in the second failure generation, 9 seeds are rounded yellow, 3 seeds are wrinkled yellow and 3 seeds are rounded green and 1 seed is wrinkled green. On the basis of this reason, the ratio, phenotypic ratio is 9 as 2, 3 as 2, 3 as 2, 1. This is all about the dye and 